Busy, make talk tomorrow. Right. Sit down, have a drink. Right. Luana, bring bottle. Bravi. You ought to know by this time that you can't get anything out of these natives while they got a shindig on their mind. What's up, Luana? Wedding or a funeral? Maybe funeral. Maybe even moon begin. Maybe. Yeah, maybe make feast just for fun, huh? <laughs> well, here's luck, Honor. And I'll have some before your next trip, there'll be a couple of funerals. Well, there won't be any next trip, Trader. I'm not putting in here anymore. What do you mean? I mean, I'm tired of bucking a headwind for 200 miles just to pick up a few tons of copra or a handful of cocoa beans. It ain't worth a trip. Wait a minute, man. You can't leave me here to rot on this coral reef without the sight of a white man. I told you last time, owner. What I want is pearls. Yeah? Why don't you get them? Well, what'll I do, make them for you? Some of the finest pearls in the South Seas came from here. I can't be all gone. That's what I thought when I came to this island. But I tell you, the natives don't dive anymore. All they take out of the water around here is fish. Hello, <laughs> You sick, maybe? Water. Water. Here, you drink water. Bringing up shell again, sail your old tub over to Napoa and leave word for me. Owner! Owner! Come quick, Palangi wash ashore. Sick, dead, I think. Maybe. That's a break for him. Tell him he's lucky. Oh, Owner, come help white men. What for? If he's dead, he'll keep till morning, won't he? Go on and beat it. Luana! Luana, bring pipe. What's that crazy kid of yours talking about? White man washed up on the shore. No, see. 
Yeah. See nothing, hear nothing, know nothing, feel nothing. something. Village making feast. I bring white men some. See? Thanks, I'm not hungry. Oh, maybe like drink coconut. Coconut? Yes, very good for drink. You take it. What's your name? Kennedy, Richard Kennedy. Ken Kennedy? You like candy? Yes, thank you. It's very good. We have many coconuts here. Now, what place is this, anyway? This missionary house. He got another island. No, no. What island is it? There's no Uli. Uli, huh? That tells me a lot. How does one get off Uli? Not know. Well, don't traders come here? Oh, yes. Trader here this day. Well, where is he? Take me to him. Trader gone now, Kenny. Gone? Yes. He gone same time I finding you. Well, he'll come again soon, won't he? Long time. Many moons, maybe. Well, there must be some boat that I can hire or, or buy if I have to. Buy. <laughs> it's funny, Kenny. 
Yes, very funny. Make sleep now, Kenny. Feel better by and by, maybe. Cursed drums, can't you stop them? They're calling village for prey. Stop soon. What's that? Timu? Uh, uh, rain. Stop soon. Make sleep. Kim. I'm going to see the white man the dealer found. Hello. Hello there. Who's that? Corner's my name. I'm the trader on this island. Kennedy's my name. Good to know there's a white man here. Well, I don't know whether I'm white anymore or not. Isn't often a fella drops in on us like you did. How come? I was a passenger on the freighter Narcosa. She blew up at sea. You don't say. The old Narcosa. Bound for the Fijis, huh? And I was on my way to an eye specialist in Suva. But they have any doctors in the States? Plenty of them. There's only one Otto Steinmeier. He's in Suva. Oh, yes. He's, a, he's the fella the British government sent down. Started a clinic or something, didn't he? Yeah, that's the man. He's my one chance of seeing again. Oh, yeah? You don't say. That makes it tough, because I understand there are no boats. That's right. Well, uh, I have a boat of sorts. Then you can get me to Suva. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's a long jaunt. Uh, tell me, uh, this fellow Steinmeier costs a lot of dough, doesn't he? Yes. At the moment, I forgot that every dollar I own is at the bottom of the ocean, the Narcosa. That's tough luck, fella. Well, I guess I'll shove off. I just came in to see if I could be of any help. Ina help. Ina taking care of Kenny. Oh, so that's the way it is, huh? Doing all right for yourself. Looks like you don't need any help. You got shelter, good housekeeper, everything just like home. Don't be ridiculous, Horner. Run along now. Fruit for breakfast, Kenny. All right, thanks. I'll run along, will you? Well, I'll drop in again, Kennedy. Wait, Horner, you said you have a boat. Yeah, but... All right, you get me to Steinmeier, and if he can do anything for me, I'll pay you double anything you ask. <laughs> With what? Oh, man alive, if I can see again, I can paint. Oh, a painter, huh? People seem to think so. At any rate, they pay well for what I paint. With any luck, I can pay you well. Come on, Horner, take a gamble. What do you say? My boat wouldn't make it to Suva. Well, Kennedy, I'll drop in on you again, maybe. Wait a minute, Horner. Didn't I tell you to run along? Your breakfast, Kenny. All right, all right, but go away and leave me alone, will you? come back anymore. Why they do this? Well, try to say he no trade anymore for Cobra, only for Pearl. Now, Chief, 
There used to be big pearls here. Why your boys not dive anymore? All gone away? Fly? Fly the child. Fly the big bird. No take. Taboo. You say there's plenty of shell and plenty of big pearl. Taboo. <laughs> That's a lot of nonsense. You tell me where the beds are and I'll get the shell out of there. Not talk about the pearl. But taboo. Yeah. I'll say it's a bad taboo. Your people no get any more barrels of beef. No bush knives, no lava lava. Buy the cobra for Drake. Buy the banana. Trader, no come back, only for pearl. Now let's be sensible. You let your boys dive. Everything hunky dory. Shot, kill brother boy. Cards. Very angry. No time. Taboo. Well, I can't help it if the sharks still kill a lot of boys and they're your gods are very angry. You better change your mind. No pearl, no trader. Very bad. Well, so long, Penny. Go far. What did you trade that calico for? Maps, beans. That stuff's out. From now on, we trade only for pearls, you understand? No pearls. Don't give me that. Your big talking chief told me there were plenty of them. Big ones, too. The trouble with you fellas is that you're just too lazy to die from, that's all. Tabu! Tabu! Give me my pipe today. Tabu. <laughs> Well, it looks like your romance is in for a little tabooing, too, my boy. Yes, sir. Palangi, beating your time with your girl. Beat time? Hmm. White man like Hila. Hila like white men. There, what did I tell you? <laughs> and a blind one at that. Yep. Blind as a bat. But he's doing all right for himself. Well? Hila wanna help, Kenny. I don't want any help. I'd have been better off if you'd left me where you found me. Kenny not see. He need Hila. Please, I tell you, I don't want any help. I want to be left alone. Now go away and stay away, you understand? Stay away.
I guess I got a bit fed up with my own company and I, I heard some music and tried to follow it. Must have gotten off my course a bit. Come, Kenny. I'm not let you get lost no more. Well, here we are again. Too bad there isn't a reward offered for me. Reward? What's that? Well, that's what people get for finding things. And... Like Hila, she finding you. Yes, seems as though you're always finding me. We'll have to do something about that. I do. What are you up to? Listen. Good heavens, what is that, a fire bell? No, Kenny. This is how missionaries saying, uh, come to school. What are you going to do with it? I fix so you're not getting lost anymore. Now, wait a minute. You're not going to tie that thing around my neck, are you? No, Kenny. You wait. I fix. Stop singing around here. Moon like this, sing all night, maybe. Say, where are you anyway? Here, in coconut tree. Oh, you crazy child, be careful, you'll fall. Not be afraid, Kenny, I not fall. I fix well, you listen. get lost some more now. Not a bad idea. In fact, darn good. Darn good? So darn good, you won't have to worry about me anymore. Thanks a lot, Ela. Good night. Why you say good night, Kenny? I stay now. Oh, no, you don't stay now. Why, Kenny? I'll see here, Ela. Friend? Yes, I'm your friend. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Native girl belongs with native boy. Why, Kenny? Because it's right that way. You see, look, white man very bad. You good, Kenny. Not good for you. But what I mean is, a native girl must stay away from white man, you see? But don't you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Stay away, not good. Stay away, not good. I know. Oh, Ela. What I mean, listen, you run along with Tono and we'll talk this over some other time. I bring breakfast, you make talk. Okay, you bring breakfast, I make talk, but go now. So long, Kenny. Good night, Ela. Why you come, Tono? You run away to white man. I run away again. Happy now that you've got your white man answering to that bell. Kenny happy too. You're doing all right for yourself. Hey, Tono? Why you shave, Horner? Hanged if I know. But it makes a man feel good. Feel nice, Kenny? Swell. 
I hope the missionary won't mind my making free with this razor. Oh, no. A missionary not mind. Uh, He's growing long whiskers. <laughs> Three cheers for the missionary's whiskers. Now, take a look. Did I do a good job? Mm, nice, Kenny. Not bad. Pretty. Did he be put on? No, no, young lady. That ring never comes off of Kennedy till he's dead. And it goes to his son. Oh, when you have son, Kenny? No, no, Miss Inquisitor. You come along, you've got a lot of work to do today. Now, what do I get? A weaving lesson or fishing practice? Fish catching good today. Okay. A fishing we will go. Come on. White men want to take water. White men want to weed basket. White men want to fish. Always white man. Well, believe me, if I was a big, strong fellow like you, no blind man would get away with my girl. You know, I'm getting pretty good at this game. What do you say next time I try baiting the hook myself? Okay, Kenny, next time you try. No, it really is. He's looking at your hook. <laughs> he grabbed it. Funny face too. Why don't you get yourself some pearls? No, no. Buy pretty things to give Hila, and maybe she like you. Pearls taboo. I'm sick of your taboos and your superstitions. If I knew where the beds were, I'd die for the pearls myself. She's left a pair of scissors so I can get the pair. Edith got here. Oh, no. Say, now I know who you are. You're Delilah. Delilah? Delilah? Who did that? Well, it's a long, long story. You don't like stories, do you? Please tell. All right. Here goes. Once upon a time, there was a man named Sam. He strong man. Very big, strong man. He know that if he have his hair cut off, he not a strong man anymore. See? No hair, no strong. Right. This man named Samson, he loved a beautiful woman named Delilah. But Delilah, she not love Samson. She not love big strong men? It does seem a bit odd, doesn't it? Who she love? She loved money. Not. Ina love big, strong men just like this. Hey, who's telling this story anyway? Many tell. Right. Now, there were a lot of men called Philistines. They hated Samson, and they wanted to take him prisoner, you know, tie him up. Good. Oh, so he wouldn't get around and tear up and whatnot. So they went to Delilah, and they said, Delilah, if you will help us get Samson much money, and said, all right, you do it. What'd she do? Like this. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Not so nice for Samson. She cut his hair, and the Philistines get him. They blinded him. That was the beginning of the end for Samson. I'll say you will. Ina tells story now. Story about her people. Once on time, an island of people had nothing to do. So chiefs, they prayed to Tongaloa. They said, Oh, Chief Tongaloa, what did you do to the food? He likes 
very king. Oh, very much. Go on. Go ahead. Tell me what happened. Tangaloa, he made big storm. He talking thunder. He say, most beautiful princess, big, brave prince, giving him to sacrifice. Sacrifice? Yes. For safe people, they must jump from praying rock into sea. Come, King. I show you. So they're holding tight their hands and they jump into big waves and people have plenty for it. Nice story, Ken. That's not a very happy ending for the beautiful princess and the brave prince. Well, they're happy. Tonga Loa, he make prince into shark. He make princess into a turtle. They're always together. I see many times. But you've seen them? Yes. Every big moon, children sing here for them to come. I do like they do. That's how they do in Kenny. Well, did the royal couple show up? No, no, not coming for Ina. They come only when children sing. <laughs> what are you but a child? Not a child, in a woman. I beg your pardon. I think it's fairly itch to thank you. I can only see. You see someday, Kenny. He'll pray and pray. So here, then he vale up. Well, what's this? You'll bring plenty of trouble, die for pearl, taboo. Nonsense, don't pay any attention to him. Now, Ela, you've got some sense. Let's have a look. Oh, not a bad-looking little bead. You and I can do some trading. Not. I keep it. What for? What good is it to you? Now, Ela, I've got plenty pretty things. Pearl for big doctor to make Kenny see. Don't be silly. Now, you want Kennedy to stay here, don't you? Yes, Kenny stay. Yeah? Listen. The minute he can see, he'll leave you. He'll go back to his own people. Not true. Can he not go? Gonna talk straight, Hila.
If white man see, you thinking he go away, sure? Huh? Oh, sure, he go away. Then I like big doctor to come here. Listen, there'll be a wedding for you, for, you for Elon Kennedy, long before a big doctor gets on this island. Look, Hila, did I get the right one? That good, Kenny. Hila help. No, no, my good woman. You're going to furnish a musical accompaniment for my labors. Too big talk, Kenny. Oh, my error. Kenny work, Hila sing and play. Better? Better. I teach you the English words. Forget, Kenny. You sing words. You play and listen carefully. Then comes rolling surf and native love and so on. We both sing now. All right. Not funny like that, Kenny. Touch. Of course not. Why? 
You're beautiful. Where do you think you're going? Silver. Silver? What for? Get big doctor. Make white man see. White man go away. You'll never make silver in an outrigger. I make. Come typhoon? Go tono. All same, I go. So long. I'm going over to Matea on business. Be away a couple of days. You look after things, you understand? Sure, I do. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. I tell you the setup's perfect. So you're the famous Dr. Otto Steinmeier. Oh, no, I'm not. We'd never get away with a scheme like that. Listen, Coxon. This guy Kennedy is so crazy to get his eyesight back, he'll believe anything. You're the one that's crazy. Even to a blind man, I couldn't look like a doctor. All you gotta do is to smell like one. Yes, but... Now, I got but... the answer to that, too. We'll take a stroll down the beach. We'll drop in on old Doc Jonas with a full one. And by the time it's empty, we'll have picked up everything we need to put on a good show. And you think it's a pretty, pretty good pearl, eh, Owner? It's good enough to get us a long way away from these cursed islands. I'll get him on to do the talking first, and then I'll know that the human eye, Mr. Owner, is a very intricate mechanism. Wheeler, I have good news for you. This is Dr. Otto Steinmeier, the big doctor you're wanting for your white man. Not wanting, doctor. What do you mean? You got the pearl, didn't you? Throw pearl away. Not wanting, doctor. You threw that pearl away? You're lying! Oh, no, Mr. Horner, this won't do. You're frightening the child. I'm here to help you, my dear. You love this white man, don't you? Well, then, you want him to see, don't you? No. Why not? Can you see he living illa? Who told you that? Only. But that's silly. If Kennedy see you, he love you. He never leave you. You think? Oh, I'm sure of it. Uh, does he know about the pearl, child? Well, that's fine. And he mustn't know. But for a little while. But when I make him see, you tell him about Pearl. Big surprise. Understand? He loves you very much. Oh, good. Now then, where'll I find this Kennedy of yours? I'm taking you. Hello there. Where have you been? Kenny, big doctor here. Big doctor here? What are you talking about? He come to Ireland, I bring him here. Oh, Wheeler, you must be losing your mind seeing things. No, she isn't, Kennedy. I'm Steinmeier, in the flesh. Steinmeier? Why, it's a miracle. Not at all, my boy. I happened to call at Matea, ran into your storekeeper. He told me about the shipwreck, your eyes and all, and naturally, I came right over. <laughs> That's marvelous. And you got my letter from New York? Uh, your letter? Oh, yeah, yes, 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 of course, uh, but uh, uh, let's get in out of the sun. I'd like to have a look at those eyes. Hila, Hila, I, still I can't believe it. It's wonderful. Now then, let's have a look. Oh, wait a minute, Doctor. Before you start, it, it's only fair to tell you that things are different now than they were when I wrote to you. Yeah? Then I had money, which now is at the bottom of the ocean in the old Narcosa. 
Frankly, I, I haven't a dime. Tut, tut, my boy. I'm not uh, worried about my fee. My whole concern is getting these eyes in shape. That's certainly swell. You won't lose by it. The minute I get on my feet... Oh, forget it. You must help us stand back there. You back? I suppose you've had uh, many opinions about your case. Plenty of them. And what were some of them? Oh, atrophied nerve, paralysis, the usual sort of guesswork. They all agreed that the Steinmeier operation was the only thing. Well, it's not as bad as I thought. There's a chance. A very good chance, in fact. Doc, those are the sweetest words I ever heard in my life. You hear, Ela? I'll be able to see again. No. Yes, sir. By morning, when these drops have had time to take effect, we can really go to work. There. Not too tight, is it? No. Well, that's all for today. Doc, I... I, I can't tell you how much I... Forget it. Forget it. Just you keep as quiet as possible. I'll be around the first thing in the morning. And you see that he does as I say, young lady. He'll take care of Kenny. Good. Oh, by the way, doctor, has anyone made any sort of uh, comfortable arrangements for you? I'd be glad to put you up, but you see... Don't worry about that. Uh, Mr. Uh, Horner, I believe his name is. He's, hey, he's found room for me. Good. Good day. Goodbye. Come, Kenny. Make race like doctor say. How'd it go? Okay. Well, did you get it? Of course not. You don't think I'm going to run the chance of being suspected. But this Kennedy's no fool. I'm going back in the morning and... Hi, Kelly. Hello, Fa. You big doctor? I, uh... Yes, I'm the doctor. You come. My son is very sick. You see, Chief, the big doctor tired. Come a little while. Come now. Boy, better now. I think I'll be running along, Chief. You stay. Better now, eh? Good doctor, I pay. Oh, that's all right. Never mind the pay. Bye, Chief. So far. Oh, uh, by the way, Chief. You got good boat? Got big bonita boat. Well, there is something you can do for me. Now, if you will send that boat.
waiting for somebody? Why, hello. Yeah, you see, uh, I got scared. That... Well, wait a minute now. Wait come a minute. On, come on, come on, come across. I, uh, don't get sore. We're in this deal together. Yeah, right? you're not going to deal with it. Now, let's have it. All right. All right. Keep your shirt on. I'll, I'll get you done, Carl. Oh, there, young lady. It's about time you were getting here. First time. Now. It wasn't the time yet. Dr. Ogon came. Oh, no, Ogon, too. What, what are you talking about? Chief Kelly say, other side island, gone on canoe. I don't understand it. Steinmeier's a big man. I'm sure he wouldn't walk out on me just because of his feet. Feet? What's that, Kelly? Feet? Well, that's his pay. See, I can't pay him. I pay? You gave him what? He not dive. He will give out to make anything. Why did you do it? You say Homer's gone? Homer's gone. I might have known about this time, Mark. Smart guys. Go fish, Kenny.
He isn't going away. We just want to see what can be done. I want my eyes to see, don't you? Yes. Let me go with Big Doc. Stop me? Let Grand will be done. Talk about the charity because I wait a minute, wait a minute. Said anything about charity. I have my own. Hey, listen, I'll tell you what I can. You can pay it now. Easy. Here are my terms. The operation is a failure, you don't owe me a thing. If it's a success. That isn't so weird. You mean because of the little girl? Yeah. You see, he would save my life. Care of me as though I were a baby. You see. Yeah, that way. Whatever she's done. What she wanted to do. It didn't cost her. Oh, yes. It did. Then we'll pay her back someday. She'll find this with her own people. You've just got to forget it. Think of your work. I can pay here. Here, perhaps. Then you begin slipping. Getting into this deadly tropical land. Inside of three years, mark my words, you will be a good Kennedy, the world needs what you have to The canvas of yours hangs in my consumption. And often when I'm feeling dark, tired, scary, low, I stand refreshed. It fills me with an urge to accomplish things. Big things. Man, a gift like that must not be lost. Well, what about it? My proposition, take it or leave it. Certain of this, don't you? I'd rather chuck the whole thing than risk another disappointment. I know. 
And I think we've got better than just a chance. In about five minutes, we'll have this cabin converted into the snuggest little operating room you ever saw. Hmm. That's a strange thing those natives are singing. Odd rhythm. Like a chant. I rather think it's a prayer. He's all right. Doctor says he'll have the bandages off in a few more days. Then he go away? Won't go away? Mm, I sure hope so. Hanging around here is getting on my nerves. Dina, come in with you to see Kenny, please. No, no, you don't. Visitor's not allowed. Why? Doctor's orders. Can he see? Mm, perhaps. In three or four days. Take it easy, my boy. Don't try to see everything once. It's no use, Doctor. I I just can't tell you what this means. Don't try. I wouldn't mind getting a thrill like that myself. Well, your, your thrill should come from being able to do a job like this. Pardon me, sir. That little naked girl is coming alongside the router again. I can't see her, Doctor. There may be a few, but I can't see her. You keep my end of the bargain. I'll see her. You go below. What will you tell her? You leave it to me. I'll make her understand everything. Can you see? Yes, my child. Kennedy sees. Kenny wanted to see you. Uh, just a moment. Let's have a little talk, you and I, eh? See Kenny first. No, no. Now listen to me. You love Kennedy very much, don't you? You want him to be happy? We are making him very happy. And I want happiness for you both. But if Kennedy stays here, neither one of you will be happy. Not? Why? Sit down, please. It's like this, my child. A native girl belongs with her people. A white man with his people. You see? How can he loving me now? You're a sweet child. And you've been very good to Kennedy. He's grateful. Grateful? What that mean? See here, Eli. Do you like Tono? Oh, yes. He's doing nice things. He's bringing you here. Then you're grateful to him. But that doesn't mean that you want to be with him all the time. No. That's what I'm trying to tell you, child. You've been very good to Kenneth. And he's grateful. Please go away without seeing him now. Well, she sent you this ring, my boy.
all set to sail, sir. Make ready to weigh anchor. Very good, sir. It's no use, Doctor. You'll have to let me out of our bargain. I can't go through with it. I know how you feel, my boy. It's rough going now, but once you get back to but work... But don't you understand, man? Painting is done with the heart. And mine's here. And always will be. Woman taking down that bell so a man can't find his way home. Oh, Ken. Not go now, Ken. Not go. Ever. <laughs> 